I've got my sea legs back and the storm has settled. How I wish I was in Bayport now. Oh. Are the best eating shrimp in the world. Yeah, that's Bayport shrimp. It's not just where we live, it's where we make our living. And I think that's very important to the stability of a country. Myself as a bill to produce and have your people use the product that you produce because you're more self-sufficient. Mayport is the oldest fishing village in America, and since the dawn of time, people have relied on these waters for their survival. But on June 30th, 1564, they first gathered in what I call the first Thanksgiving of America. Because in the middle of the Depression, because me and Shorty, we never even knew there were soup lines. Because we always knew we'd go to that river and eat. They just joined the seafood industry for what, a foreign corporation? If you didn't have fresh ocean water going in through the tide into the estuary, the estuary would die. But if you didn't have those organisms being able to nest and recreate in the safety of the estuary to go out to the ocean, the ocean would die. Well, the bottom line for the cruise lines is money. They're not concerned with how they get it and who they harm to get it. Because they're corporate, corporate criminals. Cruise ships are lawfully allowed to release untreated sewage once they are three miles from land. This discharge is contaminating our oceans, which means it is contaminating the water we swim in, and it is contaminating our food. It is common knowledge to surfers in Southern California that if they surf directly after it rains, the sewage runoff puts them at risk of a staph infection or hepatitis. My knee got an infection called MRSA. And to even think about putting something that's burning bunker C fuel 60 feet from somebody's front door it blows my mind. It kills in more ways than one. It causes cancer, it causes asthma, it causes COPD. I'm not selling. I'm not selling at all. They offered me 10 million, I said no. Said, Come up with 100 million, we'll sit down and talk, but it's still not for sale. We gotta, we gotta fight for what we stand for. I mean, that's, that's the way I see it. I got a lot of a lot of heritage there in Mayport. If I uh, ever did so, my dad he'd roll over in his grave and probably hunt me for the rest of my life. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know he wouldn't have sold it.